Ooh. A little bit chilly out today. Still cloudy. It's supposed to be raining all week. Anyways, so I found this really cool site that tells me about different places here in Connecticut. And I found online what they call the Abandoned Fairy Village. It's practically, it's in Waterbury, Connecticut, but it's more like Waterbury, Middlebury line. It's supposed to be a miniature village that lies forgotten in the forest by the side of a major highway, which is Highway 84. And this is the service road that is supposed to be the trail to it. Hopefully my car is okay over there. Anyways, nestled into the woods at the end of a service road in view of a major interstate highway in Connecticut, is the crumbling ruins of a fairy village. Forgotten by most and overlooked by the rest, the little people village of Waterbury, Connecticut slowly sinks back into the forest. Oh, nice. You can see a stone cliff with tiny houses carved into the side as, as well as a giant throne, evident of a lush garden once planted here, is scattered around. As the plants and flowers have overgrown their beds and both the garden and fairy houses have assimilated into the forest, it is a beautiful and haunting place that leaves visitors feeling like they have just had a surreal experience. So, this is what we're hunting for, is the fairy village. Let's see if we can find it. Many local myths have arisen over why these tiny houses were created. Some rumors say that a woman from a nearby town of Middlebury went mad and claimed she was being vexed by little fairies, demanding that her husband build them a village so they would live far away from her and leave her in peace. Another story is that a man named William heard the voices of the elves who demanded that he build them a village. After doing so, they still tormented him until he took his own life. Locals say if you go out on the night of a full moon, you can hear the sounds of the elves laughing in the trick in the trick they have played him. Let's keep an eye out on these little houses. Still, others Others claim the miniature village was a roadside tourist attraction, which is the most likely answer. It is very close to the main road, which was once a trolley line. It's likely the attraction was quite popular for a while and then was abandoned when the major highway was built. What is left today is a haunting echo. The tiny fairy houses are lost and crumbling in the woods where they greet visitors on a well-walked path. While some litter can be found, the location is more or less without graffiti or other trash. Ah, let's continue searching. For this fairy village, there is the highway that um, it mentioned. Little hills up here. Wait, do I see a house up there? There's a house up there. Just 
giant power line, okay. Once you pass the giant power lines, keep to the left, going into the woods, down a well-walked trail. Alright. So, this is the giant power lines that it's talking about, I believe. And it says, keep left, once I pass under the giant power lines. Is it this right here? Or is it over here? over there. I think this is it right here. Alright. It says the path is visible. I believe it's here, this way. This looks old. Look at this thing. It's a little bit of graffiti. Obviously people have been here. Put my phone away. Take a look in here. Looks like stairs going up that way. Oh, look at this. It's one of the small houses that it was mentioning. Got a little balcony right there. We found it. We found the little fairy village. Was it just that one house? I don't see anything else going that way because that way is the highway. So we found the fairy village here in Waterbury. Just one house. I'm pretty sure everything else has crumbled over the years. Oh 
thing. That thing looks like a little little pond or a little moat. Alright. Let's try to walk without falling. There we go. That must have been another another one right there. But it's crumbled. Yeah, there's nothing else back here. I mean, it looks like some foundation right over there. But nothing really. I mean, there's no other way around to keep going. Everything's so overgrown. Well, at least we came and looked at it and tried to find it. And we did. We succeeded in finding it. There must have been another one right here. 